Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie. It's nice to have you guys here. Today I have the next of my haul videos. I'm really excited and I forgot to mention in the last one, yes, I do have my Christmas tree up. So I've already filmed the Primark haul, so that will already be up on the channel if you haven't watched that yet. And then today is going to be my kind of beauty fashion accessories haul. So I've got lots of bits from Accessorize, Ted Baker, some jewelry bits from the gift shops that we went to. I've got just a bunch of random stuff. It was really hard to figure out how to divide up the hauls this time around, so this is the best I could come up with. So I'm just gonna dive right in. Um, so the first couple things are from Happy Socks. I got two pairs of socks. We went in um, to look for a gift for one of Tamsin's friends, but I do love socks. So when I saw these, I couldn't help myself. So the first pair are these ones with, with the Union flag in different colors, and these are one of their London edition ones. So you can only get these in London, and I just thought they were super cute. I like the navy, um, but then when you look closer, you see like what is actually on it. And I love how colorful they are, super cute. And then the other pair I got were these Argyle socks in these just bright, fun colors. I just thought these would be really nice for autumn, winter this year, and yeah, loved those. So, bit expensive for socks, but they're fun and I really like them. So from Accessorize, so from Accessorize I got this little coin pouch, which is super cute, love that. It has a ribbon that goes on here, but it's come off, so I'm gonna have to fix that. A piece broke off, and I love when that happens. It's like, I'm back in the States, there's literally nothing I can do about it, but that should be an easy enough fix for me. Um, so it's just got a few card slots on the inside, and I thought it was just really cute. Then I got a few pieces of jewelry from Accessorize. So I got two pairs of earrings. I got this pair which are really pretty. I liked the rose gold and the like blush tone to the center stone. And then I got this pair, which are like little stars dangling down. I just thought the rose gold hoops and the little stars, I just thought those were super, super cute. And then I really liked this necklace, delicate rose gold chain, and then it just has my initial on it along with a little other little um, stone, yeah. So just thought that was really cute and dainty. Really liked that. So that was accessorized jewelry items. There's a few lifestyle items that'll be in the next haul. Random, I'm just gonna switch to this. I picked up a new shirt in Oxford. I love getting Oxford gear. So I got this Oxford University shirt. It's just a nice long sleeve tee, which I don't have. I've got short sleeve t-shirts and I've got hoodies. So I thought this would be really nice and it just feels nice and cozy and comfy. And then at the Harry Potter shop in Heathrow, got also got some V&A stuff in here. At the Harry Potter shop, I got a Hufflepuff scrunchie, couldn't resist. And I got, it's a keychain, but I'm tempted to take it off the keychain and put it on a necklace. It's Hermione's Time Turner. And I just thought it looked really cool. There's even like actually like sand in there. So as you turn it around, like it, it, it does what it's supposed to do other than actually take me back in time. Because if I could, I would give this a spin and I'd go back to London. But yeah, really like that. And then, I've got a few pairs of earrings in here that I got at the V&A. So, unfortunately, the first pair has broken. I'm gonna have to try to fix it, um, see if I can either super glue it or find someone who does jewelry making who could solder it back on. Basically, one of the earrings came off the post, but it's a little teapot and a little teacup. And I just thought they were super cute. They were five pounds, so I guess I'm not that surprised that they've broken already, but yeah, I just thought they were really cute. So I will figure out some way of of fixing this. It's a little bit disappointing, but I still really like them. And then I got this pair, our little vintage style cameras. I just thought those were so cute. My mom found them, found a necklace like these. It had the pendant was the camera. And I was looking at that and almost got that. But then I saw the earrings and I just wear earrings more than I wear necklaces now, especially when it's hot out. So I thought I'd get a lot more use out of the earrings. So I got those, super cute, really excited about that. And then I got these earrings, which 
I thought when I was looking at them were going to be like really heavy, but they're actually just a really lightweight plastic or acrylic. And so they're really lightweight, but I just love the color combination. I love the style, like just the way the light kind of reflects. This almost looks like malachite. I just thought it would be really pretty, really statement. At Kensington, I'm throwing this in here. I got a new umbrella. It's got this really pretty rose pattern on it. I don't want to open up the whole umbrella, but you can see it's got this really pretty floral pattern on it. So I just thought that would be really cute, really pretty here in Arizona. It doesn't rain very much, but I do always carry a umbrella with me in my work bag for shade purposes if I need it. So um, I thought that one would be really cute and really pretty for walking around campus. We're going to switch to beauty for a moment and then we'll do Ted Baker and the fine jewelry last. So I went to Boots. I didn't really get a whole lot at Boots this time. I kind of surprised myself, I won't lie. But I picked up a few things that I just always get. So I picked up a few think these were th I think these were three for two. Eyelashes, false lashes. I love the Fleur de Force Eyelore lashes. So I got um, three boxes of the Fully Fleur ones. I have a bunch of boxes of the Fleur Loves, which are the which are really similar to these, but they're the three quarter kind of version of these. So these ones and the Fully and the Fleur Loves are my two favorite of all of the lashes she's created with them. So I got three boxes of those. Also from Boots, three for two, I picked up three more of the Soap and Glory Handmade Hand Gel. Love this stuff. Love it so much. Picked up three more of these. I always stock up. I think I was down to my last unopened one here in the apartment. So I've got a few that are like ongoing in my handbag at my desk, etc. I've got one at my desk at work, but definitely wanted to restock. And my battery's gonna die any minute. So let's see how far we can get. Then also at Boots, I picked up another of my favorite Ted Baker lip balms. I just love these. So I got another of the big pot. Tamsin, two summers ago, brought me a three pack of the smaller pots, but I picked up another of the big ones. So this will probably live on my vanity for now because I have a smaller one still going on my desk, but I like having those around, they're just really nice. Then the last two kind of beauty items, um, we went into the, I don't think it was just an ordinary store, I think it was like a whole Decium store with more than just the ordinary, but um, I picked up a product by The Ordinary, their Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. I was looking at the lactic acid, I was looking at a retinol, and when I was talking to the girl about what I kind of needed, this was the one that she recommended. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. And then in Oxford, I went into my favorite store, Oxford Aromatics, it's in the covered market, and they do all kinds of more natural um, bath and body products, as well as candles and diffusers, and I would have loved to have brought home some of those but we were definitely out of space and out of our weight allowance for our bags. But I picked up this lavender and bergamot lotion or cream. It's buttercream is what it's called. I tr tested out the sampler. So very simple. I think this is the store's own brand, but it's got cocoa, shea butter, almond, and sunflower oil with vitamin E. And the lavender and bergamot just smelled so good. So this is going to be my new kind of going to bed, winding down body cream. I'm really excited about that. Then, then we'll go to Ted Baker. Let's go to Ted Baker. So we went into Ted Baker in London and they, they had a bunch of stuff and there was a handbag that I was very seriously considering, but it, it wasn't on sale. Nothing was on sale right now because we're kind of in between the sale seasons. Um, and so I just... I just wasn't sure. Okay, we've got a fresh battery now. So, Ted Baker. So I was looking at a handbag, but it would have been a really substantial purchase. And with Christmas coming up, it's just, I just wasn't comfortable with that. So um, I didn't get anything in London. I knew that there would be the store in Oxford. And so I figured I'll look around there. If they have the handbag, maybe I'll get it there, but I might also find something else. I didn't want to buy that handbag just because it was the only thing I found in the London store that I really liked. So we went into the, the Ted Baker in the Westgate Center at Oxford or in Oxford and um, we were looking around and I found this scarf and the price was really good, especially compared to what I know the scarves cost in 
my local Ted Baker here. So this was 69 pounds, um, so less than $100 still. I just felt like it was meant to be. And I don't have a scarf quite like this, not only in terms of the print, but also in terms of the just the material. So this is the scarf, this is the print on it. It's got this really pretty white and like blush pink and gray floral print. I just thought the print was stunning but it's also it's polyester but it's got this like woolen feel to it it's really soft but it's got a nice heavier weight to it it feels more like a brushed wool type fabric so it'll be really nice for winter this will be heavy enough that this will probably be like the only scarf or like winter protection I really need here in Arizona so it's not too heavy for the weather here because it is lighter weight than some of my thicker blanket scarves so I just thought this was something I would be able to get a lot of use out of um, and I just thought the print was really really pretty so I was really really happy about that and it just felt like it was meant to be it's got a little gold button stitched on like my other Ted Baker scarf um, well, now I've got, like, my other heavier weight scarf, um, so I've now got, it's my fourth Ted Baker scarf now, so happy about that, love that. And then I got a pair of earrings, which I had been looking at these in the London store as well, and they come in this really cute little box. I've been wanting a pair of these specific Ted Baker earrings, like I knew if I got a pair of earrings, these would be the ones that I would get, so because I wasn't buying a handbag, I thought, okay, I can get the scarf and the earrings. So these are the earrings. They're just like a little button style, rose gold with like a blush pink enamel, and then they just say Ted Baker around the outside. And I just thought they were really cute. Just a nice, simple style. Will be a nice, like, just little rose gold stud that I can wear. And I'm really happy about those. Then, the last few things are kind of the f more fine jewelry that I bought. So, I... What to do first? Um, so, so in Oxford, we'll just do this one first. These are by an artist named Amy Sermon. Um, I picked up the little card. Um, and these were in... I found these in the independent Oxford boutique in the covered market, with covered market, which I follow them on Instagram. So I was hoping that I would be able to pop by their shop. I like supporting local artists and local business owners, even when I'm traveling. So I thought um, it would be good to pop in there. And then it's just a sterling silver necklace, but I loved the charm. So it's a little acorn and a little leaf. And I just thought it was super cute. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love squirrels and I love acorns and yeah, I just, I like the kind of symbolism of acorns, the idea that, you know, an entire forest and mighty oak trees can come from one single little acorn. So it's a nice little, like, reminder of just, like, how small steps and small things can lead to big things. So I thought that was cute. And then at this shop, the fine gift company jewelry in Covent Garden. I discovered this shop first or second time I went to London. I discovered it pretty early on and just fell in love with it. I think I got a gift there for my mom like the first time I went and then when we went back or maybe we discovered it when she went with me which was the second time I went. Either way like I've, I go to this place pretty much every time I go because it's just, I discovered it very early on in traveling to London. It's just a place that we go now. So the first thing I got, the main thing I got, is this ring that I've been wearing. So yes, it looks very much like the one that Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge, wears, and that Princess Diana wore. Um, so it is a kind of replica version of that. I've looked at this literally like the last three times I've been maybe four times, I've looked at this ring and considered like, oh, do I, don't I, I really like it, but you know, will, will it look like I'm copying blah blah blah, like do I want to be that American that has to get Kate's ring? But this time I'm like, you know what, I wrote an entire dissertation on these two women. I think of all the Americans, I like it, it makes sense for me to have this ring. 
Um, so it's sterling silver plated in platinum, I think. It is really good quality. I still take it off when I wash my hands, but it, I have a number of rings from this company. They never turn my finger green. I can wear them every day and it just never really changes how beautiful they look. You know, I take care of them and I do treat it like fine jewelry, but yeah, so this was kind of the big splurge purchase of the trip, single purchase of the trip, but I'm really happy with it. I've been wearing it every day since buying it. Um, and then because I bought that, they were having a gift with purchase on any purchase over 50 pounds. So I got these two little hoop earrings. So with, um, I think it's tanzanite stones. So really pretty, really cute little hoops. I really like them. And then the other reason why I got the sapphire ring was because I had picked up at the Historic Royal Palaces at Kensington, I'd picked up these earrings. So I just thought they would go really well. The ring would go really well with the earrings. Um, and it'll just be really nice for like maybe some festive looks this winter season. I also, I thought they were delicate enough. They're not overly blingy. So I could still wear them on a day-to-day -day basis. And that I think is all of the beauty, fashion, accessories stuff. So I'm cranking through these halls. I'm doing really well. I'm, it's Sunday and so of course mom's coming to pick me up for zinc in a little bit. So I keep looking at the time out of the corner of my eye to make sure I'm still like on time. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and reset everything and start with the homeware lifestyle stationery type books haul. So that's the last haul. Um, that one might take me a little while. I'll try to move through things quickly. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what items you particularly liked and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe down below if you are not subscribed. That would be amazing. Yeah, I'll see y'all soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye-bye.